Today I want to take a quick look at what I think is just some classic footage uh, from our Just Play Camp a group from the last day. Our, we had a great group of kids. They picked up on what we wanted them to learn in a really effective way and did a great job owning their own games, owning calling fouls, and uh, really solving their own problems and just engaging with the game in, in a fun way and uh, hopefully a refreshing way, which is exactly what it's supposed to be about. This situation here was uh, that I had a group of nine. Uh, I walked over and gave them some quick directions that it was a four on four time or any way they wanted to involve all nine players. And then I walked away and started the camera. And my goal was just to watch. Uh, I did a lot of that throughout the week. Uh, I'm totally enamored with how kids learn. Uh, but one of the things I've often found is that uh, people just underestimate uh, what's learned in the inefficiencies of play. And what you find here is a group of kids who were wildly inefficient in their start of the game. Um, but my belief is that it's uh, what happens in these two minutes and 44 seconds is wildly more important than we often give it credit for. And one of the best things we can often do as coaches is to give the extra two and a half for the kids that own the game and for the kids to solve their own problems and make their own teams and step up and speak up or stay silent or switch it up and that the effects of such play are more far reached than we might think uh, whether it stretches to the home or relationships or school or sports or politics whatever it is in life uh, the things we learn in the extra two and a half minutes uh, are often more important um, than what we learn when the coach steps in, starts the game in 10 seconds, and get things, gets things going. Uh, I probably could have started this game in 10 to 15 seconds quite easily, uh, maybe even with better teams, and the kids wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. And though we would have played an extra two and a half minutes, I'm not sure that they would have improved as much. Uh, even with basketball, but more importantly, definitely wouldn't have improved in their self-confidence, in their self-awareness, in their social interactions, all of which are just incredibly difficult to measure. Uh, you'll see, they just get started with the game at the two minute and 42 mark. Um, in the setting of youth sports, uh, many people probably realize uh, that there's a tremendous pressure to maximize every minute on the court, to show that you're doing something, um, to just really prove to really your customers, which are often parents, that look, we're doing something, look, we're doing something, see how effective it is, your kid's learning. Um, and oftentimes it's true, there's a, there's a place for that at certain camps, there's a place for that at clinics, there's a place for that in certain leagues, and that's why we run a diverse, diversity of leagues and events in our programs. Uh, but there is certainly not enough time spent doing this. And what I found is though it's wildly inefficient, it's wildly more important than we often give it credit for to their long-term development as people, but often to, also to their long-term development as players. Um, they need it to grow in the things that really matter most. And though it, it might drive us crazy in the short term, it gives them great benefit and better joy in the long term.